Hey planner friends, it's Ashley. If you are interested in planning and creating a life you love, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Today I'm gonna to show you how I'm using the Teacher Happy Planner as my health and fitness planner. I used this layout last week and I loved it so much that I'm going to uh, use it again this week. So I'm gonna show you how I set this thing up, how I kind of reconfigure it, because the Teacher Happy Planner is set up Monday through Friday. Now I need Saturday and Sunday too, so I do use some stickers to uh, rework this thing and I'll show you guys that entire process. Here you can see the current, well, I said from last week, it will be from last week by the time you guys see this video, but this is the current week that I'm on. Um, I love it, it's really functional, a really good planner for health and fitness, so that's why I wanna use it again. For sticker books, I'm going to be using the Color Story sticker books, the dual tone boxes, and then I also pulled out a memory keeping sticker book that I had so I could use the numbers to redate this thing. And if you'll see on the left page there, the one that says Monday through Friday, I'm going to take box stickers and I'm going to cover those up. I was trying to use box stickers out of the Color Story one, but I, I just decided to go with the boxes from the dual toned uh, boxes sticker book. I love the colors in there, they are so pretty. Um, loving the sticker book definitely definitely need another one but anyways I'm gonna take box stickers and I'm gonna cover those up and I will retitle those and each row will be its own category and I'll talk about categories and what I title those sections here in just a few minutes I'm flipping the page over so I can see what Sunday's date was so I could redate this. I don't know about you guys, but I know what day of the week it is. I just, I'm struggling with dates anymore and figuring out what the date is for each day. But in the memory keeping sticker book, I had it and I realized that there wasn't enough, well, there is some stickers in there, but I didn't have the days that I needed. So that's whenever I pulled out the Planner Basics sticker book. This one is for a mini. I pulled it out and it has some of these giant numbers, which I love and I've been hoarding them for entirely too long. So I decided this was the perfect time to start using them and stop hoarding stickers, Ashley. Uh, let me know in the comments if you tend to hoard some stickers that you love. I know I definitely do, but taking those big giant number stickers and I'm going to date these. Now I didn't write in that it was like Monday, like you can see the the column for the 18th will be Monday. The column for the 19th will be Tuesday. I didn't write in the days of the week because I know what each column is for, so I didn't feel the need to do that. But I do want to have them numbered as far as what the date is. Now I'm gonna take the Color Story sticker book and I'm gonna start decorating this a little bit. Um, based on what the category is for the box stickers over on the left page, that kind of determines whether or not I can decorate a little bit more or if I need to keep it more functional. For example, the second category down, the second box down is for nutrition and I need, I, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry, I need that to be more functional. So I don't put very many stickers through there because I need all that space to write out what I'm eating throughout the day. And so the categories help guide sticker placement as far as the way that I'm currently using this layout. And then here is whenever I'm gonna start labeling each category. The first one is intention. So I'm setting an intention for the day, whether it's to wake up early, to get to bed early, to um, hit my water goal, it is to do a workout, whatever the case may be, I'm setting my intention for the day. The next one, like I said, is for nutrition. This is where I'm just writing out what I'm eating throughout the day. Literally, you guys, I will write out anything that I eat. If I even have a piece of candy, I'm writing it down because I'm telling you those little things add up. Um, and then we're like, why aren't, why am I not reaching my goals? Well, sometimes it's, it's those little things that we think are not a big deal that are adding up quickly. The next one down from nutrition is going to be my workout. This is where I'm writing in what workouts I'm doing. The next one I wrote track it. 
this is where I'm going to start tracking things like my water, how many calories I burn based on what my Fitbit's telling me. Um, let me look here. I'm actually have my planner in front of me. I'm also tracking how many times I'm drinking coffee in a day. Oh my lord, y'all, I've been drinking way too much coffee. Um, so I'm tracking that and then I'm tracking how much sleep I'm getting. And then the bottom column is going to be for daily wins. And this is where I am focusing on the little successes that I'm having throughout the day. Whether it's I actually woke up on time today or I went to bed on time or I hit my water goal, I crushed a workout or... I don't know, I, I had a craving and I didn't give in to that craving and eat, you know, all the junk food. So those are going to be the different categories down the side. And that's the same ones that I used for last week and I really liked it. So I'm going to continue this on. I, um, I'm really loving this layout. And like I said, I think I may use it for a few more weeks. But I also love creating my own fitness spread. So let me know what you guys want to see more of. Do you like the, me um, showing you how I'm using the teacher layout? Do you want to see more like... Bujo, boho, custom spread type deal. Let me know down in the comment section which one you want to see more of. I absolutely love these colors from the Color Story sticker book. Um, I've also been hoarding these ones for a while. <laughs> I talked, you know, I was saying earlier I tend to hoard stickers. Um, I do that a lot actually. It's, it's funny though because we hoard stickers that we love but we also use stickers that we love. I wonder why we only hoard some of them. You know what I mean? Are we always like waiting for that special occasion, just the perfect time to use them? I want to challenge you, now's the perfect time to use those stickers you've been hoarding. I used the number of stickers I was hoarding so now it's your turn. <laughs> Alright, so if you've watched this far, code word for this video. So I'm starting this thing where I'm doing a code word if you watch it towards the end of the video code word today is going to be hoarder or hoarding let's see what you guys you guys got super creative with last week's word last week's code word was hot mess and y'all blew my mind away with how creative you got with it so I'm really really curious to see how you guys are gonna get creative with hoard or hoarding um, <laughs> I know it's probably gonna be like I hoard all my stickers I do too I'm with you I'm a hoarder uh, so anyways, that is going to be my fitness spread for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said earlier, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Have an incredible day, my friend, and I will see you in the next video.